cabinet, it comes up with stack number one. Now with this stack, I can move it, I can rotate it, I can drag it, I can copy it, I can delete it, and it will all affect both the wall 1830 and the wall 1812 because those are in my stack. Now we've covered most of the features. A couple of the features that we haven't covered yet are copy and replace. The first one I'm going to do here is copy. Copy is exactly what it sounds like. You're just copying this cabinet. Simply select copy, click in, and there's my cabinet. Well, I don't want a cabinet there because, well, that would be a headbanger. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And now we're going to replace the cabinet. We're going to replace this cabinet. So you select the cabinet, we go to replace, and in this screen, we have all sorts of options to replace it with. We can put in a search, and we can find it through our search, and we have things we can narrow down our searches with, or we can simply come over here and select a cabinet. We have our full wall cabinet set up here. Now in this case, we're going to do a wall china display. And we're going to stay 30 inches high. Hopefully we have a 27. We do. A wall china display shows you what we're placing here. So in case we got it wrong, you know, you see before you place it. We're going to hit replace. And now we have a wall china display. Here's our wall china display that we just replaced. Now the last couple items that we have to finish up this little set of cabinets is a sink and a faucet. To place our sink in our faucet, we come over here and we select our sink icon, or our faucet icon. We're going to do a kitchen feature. And we'll select sink. And again, many options to choose from. We're going to do a two basin. And I'm just going to pick this one. and place. And again, just like placing a cabinet, you just pull it out there and you drop it in place. You don't have to be precise with this. We're just going to, in fact, we're going to drop it halfway off the cabinet. And now I'm going to need a faucet to go with that. And we'll pick a pretty one here. There we go place and I'm going to place it clear off over on the side. Now we can cancel this and again here's my sink and my faucet. To put my sink exactly into place we can come down here select center. Now we want to center it on the cabinet so we're going to select the cabinet and there we're centered. Now for our faucet we can do the same thing with our faucet. We can center it on the cabinet and there we're centered. Now this faucet doesn't really fit the sink on the center here so we're probably going to want to drag it over just a little bit more. So here we're going to go to drag. We're going to drag it over somewhere in about here. We can do just a bit of it in and out. And there we have it. So now we've covered many features. We've covered drag, move, rotate, in, out, up, down, center, fit, snap, stack, copy, replace, and the basic cabinet attributes. With a little bit of time and practice using all of these features, soon you will become more efficient and before you know it, you will be the pro in Pro Kitchen.